hello uh, today we will design half header using nand gate so this is the half header using the nand gate so in half header we required five nand gate and two inputs so this is the first nand gate second third fourth and the fifth so we will design half header in microwind software so this is the microwind software so in this microwind software we will design half header so this is the scale 10 lambda so first of all we will make it as a 1 lambda so go to the view zoom in again go to the view zoom in view 1 lambda now it becomes 1 lambda so we required 5 type 5 nand gate so first of all we make one nand gate and we will copy it so in nand gate we require both p types of mosfet and the n type of mosfet so first of all we take p plus diffusion we make size of the p plus diffusion is 4 by 44 lambda or 44 lambda by 4 lambda so make it 44 lambda by 4 lambda so this is the 4 lambda make it 44 so this is the 44 lambda by 4 lambda 44 lambda by 4 lambda the separation between the active material is 30 lambda so by the polysilicon we make it as a reference 30 lambda so make it 30 lambda 28 lambda 30 lambda so it is 30 lambda so again we for the n type mosfet we take n plus diffusion so take n plus diffusion and make it 4 lambda by 44 lambda by 4 lambda so this is the 4 lambda 3 4 lambda 4 lambda by 34 lambda 44 lambda 4 lambda by 44 lambda so this is the 4 lambda by 44 lambda we will delete this now in the p plus diffusion we contact we take contact p plus so this is the p plus contact again this is the second contact for the n diffusion in n diffusion we take n plus contact this is the n plus this is the n plus for the gate terminal we will take polysilicon so this is the polysilicon we know separation between contact and the polysilicon is 2 lambda height of the polysilicon above the active material is 3 lambda so 1 2 3 3 lambda again for the second terminal we take 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 we check drcl no error now uh, in the nand gate drain of the pmos and drain of the nmos are at the same point so we create another contact and this is the at the 12 lambda from the gate terminal so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 lambda now uh, the drain terminal of the PMOS and drain terminal of the NMOS are connected by the metal so we connect by using the metal one and we connect this
will connect this okay we check the rc error there is no error now drain at the source of the pmos are connected to vdd and source of the nmos are connected to the ground so by using the metal metal one by using the metal one delete this by using the metal one may take metal one okay source of the nmos are connected to the ground take metal one They are say no error. So this is the NMOS or the NAND gate. So we will copy it five times. So let's make it a small. Now it become we will copy this five times. So go to the copy element and select this all and copy this. What? One we have to copy it five times. Two, three, four, five. Check the answer. No error. Now, what we will do? We connect all source of the PMOS to the VDD. So just use metal one. Okay. First of all, in the first of all, uh, in the second NAND gate, second NAND gate had two input. One input is the input A, and second input is output of the first NAND gate. Similarly, third NAND gate has two input. One input is input B, and second input is output of the first NAND gate so we will connect so we will connect so use polysilicon and connect this like this use polysilicon so take polysilicon this is the polysilicon and connect this Connect this. Now it is connected. Check DRC error. No error. Now again, third NAND gate has input B. So connect this. Okay, it is connected. Yes, now it is connected. Now, second NAND gate and third NAND gate has another input which is output of the first output of the first NAND gate. So use polysilicon again, polysilicon, and connect this.
Connect also this. Let's check the RCL. No errors. Now, this input is connected to the and this input is connected to the. Okay. Now. We have, here we are using metal and the polysilicon. So we use connector, met, this connector, metal and the polysilicon to connect the metal and the polysilicon. Now this is connected. Now third NAND gate, fourth NAND gate has two inputs: output of the first, second NAND gate, and output of the third NAND gate. So we will connect this. So this is a. So by using the metal. By using the metal one, we connect this. By using the metal one, we use DSL. No error. Now, here we are connecting polysilicon and metal. So we use connector metal and the polysilicon. Now we have to connect second input of the fourth NAND gate. So we use metal two. Take metal two. And now use metal one. Connect metal one. Use here metal one and the polysilicon. So use connect metal and the polysilicon. Here using the metal two and metal one. So connect metal one and metal two. Again metal one and metal two. Now we will connect all the source of the PMOS to the ground. So use metal one and connect connect this. This is also not connected. Connect this. This is not connected. Connect this. This is not connected connect this this is also not connected connect this connect this okay now all is connected we apply vdd so apply give to vdd now source of the all n mouse are connected to the ground so take metal one make it more and connect all this okay and then apply ground connect ground we apply input add clock for input so add clock a add clock a in assign it a assign this now Again, add another input, add clock B, assign it as a B. Now, we observe output sum at the fourth NAND gate. So, we